Hi, I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and today we're gonna to be making a coaster made of FRP, and then we're going to put it in our wooden base. So first, let's get started on the items we'll need. I have my blank FRP coaster, the image I'd like to display, heat tape, and a couple sheets of protective paper. What I'm gonna do first is align my coaster with my image. You'll notice that my image is slightly larger than my coaster. This gives enough room for the bleed area, which will ensure that the coaster is fully covered by my image. Also, when working with FRP, you'll notice that the back has a texture, makes it easier to tell which side's the front, which side's the back when you go to press. Once that's in place, I'll apply just a couple pieces of heat tape and secure it in place. Once I place my last piece of heat tape in place, I'm ready to move to my press. I'll open my press and place a sheet of protective paper on the bottom. Grab my coaster, flip it over so the image side is facing down. One more sheet of protective paper on the top. And we'll be pressing today 400 degrees 75 seconds, medium to heavy pressure. And that sound means we're done. So I'm gonna lift and swing away on my press. Remove my top sheet of protective paper. I'll want to remove my transfer right away. My coaster is gonna be very hot. So I'll move it to a flat, cool surface and give it just a few minutes to cool. Now that my coaster is cooled, my last step is removing my double-sided tape, peeling it back, and placing my coaster firmly in place. You can see how great the FRP looks with the colors from the press. These work great as business promotions or for gifts. You'll want to be sure to visit condi.com for all of our products and services. Be sure to check our instructions as they do change because we do periodically an update as our products and equipment change. Also, be sure to watch more of my videos at conditv.com. I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.